Me Family Scene here with another Wi-Fi battle. Whew. I was uh, attending one of A-Drive's streams, and I had... Uh, I, well, I was in need of a Volt Absorb Pachirisu for the uh, Pikachu Cup competition. I'm going to upload videos on that. Stay tuned for that. It's going to be really awesome. Uh, for once, I'll actually have a full team of six. I break five, and... Shuckhacks123, aka Tamas Sushin, is breeding one for me. So, full team of six with the help of some friends all, uh, as well. And here, Mr. Chadow here, um, he was the one kind enough to um, to give me uh, for free that Volt Absorb Pachirisu, and it knew uh, Follow Me as well. Uh, went out, I, I went the extra mile just to get Follow Me, but it was already on his, so. It turned out very well. I was able to get my Pachirisu and all, and after that we just battled for fun. Uh, a fun battle, an OU battle, but because I didn't really have uh, like six OU Pokemon or a team because I don't have much variety, but I will have six new mons uh, really soon. Also some more Shuckles, that's going to be awesome, and let's, let's not waste too much time, guys. Um, I didn't have a completely OU team, so I did not bring a Mega Evolution to compensate, and that, this battle right here, is awesome. So he was playing X and Y, so of course it's the default uh, X and Y music, um, that's kind of nice. So he sends out Venus to win, and I lead with uh, Talon Flame, just to get a U-turn up, uh, I mean, just to get a U-turn off. Uh, maybe fake a choice. Well, I mean, I can't really because of the life form. It's just, just super obvious. But I expected the switch here. Went for a U turn. Life form U turn does a crap ton of damage uh, to Tyranitar. And I think um, about half. It, it's crazy. Look at that damage. That is insane. And again, I get the initiative. That is really, really good. He does get um, his. Um, Sandstorm up. That's a bit sad, but I have Thornex here, and I mean, he can't really do much. He does Fire Blast, though, but I am sassy, and with my spread, I can take Fire Blasts all day, every day, even though it is four times super effective. So, I'm able to get my rocks up, and I'm very happy about that, because Stealth Rock, they're nice. They're nice. Definitely. So I switch out and go out into Emberwing X2 tank, another Fire Blast. It does not miss, though. 85 uh, accuracy, 85% accuracy, that's pretty accurate, though. So I didn't expect to miss. And here I'm going up and go for a U-turn again, predicting a Rock-type move, and I just want to get that damage up. Because U-turn does a crap ton of damage, as I already said, and it, it's crazy on, in a Pokemon, like, on a Pokemon such as Tyranitar, who's... Pretty defensive. Pretty defensive. So he does get his rocks up. Uh, I have no way of removing them, but I mean, my team isn't really weak to stealth the rock. Except Talonflame. But Talonflame is above half HP, so it's all good. Here comes the Venusaur. Uh, I go for the Aqua Jet. I, I expected the switch, but I didn't want to risk anything, so I go for the Aqua Jet. I do a little bit of damage. It's a very decent chunk. Um, because he's not Mega, and the Sandstorm subsides, so that's that's kind of nice. No, resi no residual damage on my side. I go out into Thornex uh, to tank a Sludge Bomb, potentially, or any sort of uh, Poison type move. Also to maybe get some some more um, hazards up. So he does go for Sludge Bomb, does not affect. With my leftovers, I'm back up to full. Well, I mean, back up to where I was before the leftover. So he, he does pack hidden power. That is HP fire, so it's gonna take me down easily. Ferrothorn goes down. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get a layer of spikes up, but it doesn't really matter. They don't do much by themselves. So yeah. So I trade the thick fat. Not really gonna be useful here, but maybe for HP fire. Who knows? So I go for psychic and. I replaced Psy Shock with uh, Psychic to get more power, because as an Assault Vest Gardevoir, I kind of need a little bit of power. And that actually takes down the Venusaur. Uh, that's pretty awesome. Then he goes out into Blue Steel, 
the uh, Gliscor. I haven't seen the Gliscor in a while. That's that's pretty nice. Gorgor Gliscor is pretty standard. Uh, does it have Earth Balloon though? I mean Earth Balloon, Air Balloon. What am I saying? Goes for the EQ, but uh, only I am Air. But oh, I'm stupid. I am Air Balloon. Sorry. I don't know why I said he was. Uh, I am. So because of that, the EQ is gonna do nothing. And here I go for Swords Dance because I expected a switch, or uh, at least I expected to survive. So Swords Dance seems to be very, very deadly. And Serenity, the Sylveon, pretty scary mod, but Hyper Voice, I don't know if he expected to switch or anything, uh, that's not very effective, or probably that was his only attack. And I go second, Iron Head, Swords Dance, there's no way it's gonna survive, uh, Serenity goes down, and that's a, that's a Sylveon down, it's a pretty good wall that's dead right now. Here comes Mr. Raikou. Shiny as well, uh, and the stones are going to do a little bit of damage to it. Not bad, I'm pretty happy about that. So of course I'm going to go for the King's Rock here too. To scout, just to scout, because I know he doesn't have any sort of physical move. So I'm just going to scout, uh, get my uh, shield mode on again. Shadow Ball, I know I can't survive a Shadow Ball, uh, even in shield mode. I ran a little bit of calcs there, but it was pretty obvious. I mean, probably specs too. So that's going to do a really, really good chunk. Uh, I didn't expect it to kill. Uh, I did a little bit more than I expected, though, so I'm pretty happy about that. Because now the Raikou is in uh, Aqua Jet range. That's exactly what I'm going to go for. I go out into Azumarill and a little bit of Stealth Rock damage. Nothing, nothing too, too bad there. Go for the Aqua Jet. Take out the Raikou. Uh, this is a very good game. That's why I'm uploading, because, I, I mean, whether I lose or, or win, I upload my best battles, because I had a lot of fun. This battle was 30 minutes long. He sends out Jirachi, I'm like, okay, what's it gonna do? Um, so I go for Belly Jump, expecting to survive something. Um, actually goes for Cosmic Power, and I was like, ooh, that's not super standard, that's awesome. But because of the Aqua Jet, I am now a huge threat. And I'm going to go for the Aqua Jet right now and do a crazy amount of damage. Now he goes for Zen Headbutt and does take me down, but I'm pretty happy with the damage I did because that's some crazy damage. On Jirachi too? Not mad about that. So here I go into Ember Ring. I know this is my last attack with the Life Orb. I go for Flare Blitz. I know he's going to switch, but I know Flare Blitz is going to do a crap ton of damage to anyone, even this uh, freaking physical wall here. Neutral, neutral damage though. I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, he could have gone into Tyranitar, but eh, not the best choice here. Uh, that does an enormous amount of damage. Blue Steel is now in the red. It is looking very good for me. Um, Talon Flame did its job. Kamikaze, Talon Flame, you did your job. Thank you very much. I go into Greninja. Uh, the Focus Sash does great, but Greninja was my late game sweeper. Now I go for the Ice Beam, obviously outspeeding. Take down the Blue Steel. He goes out into Jirachi here, and I have Dark Pulse. So I go for it. I know I'm faster. Uh, no risk this range, and we're in Gen 6, so it's super effective. And he goes out into Tyranitar, here he really really can't do much, because I do have Scald and I'm not Specs or anything, so I can switch out my moves whenever I want to. So I go for Scald. His special defense is raised by 50%, but I know it doesn't matter at this range. So the Tyranitar actually goes down, and... Oops, sorry, I jumped my my stylus. That was an amazing match, uh, Charo. I want to thank you so much. Um, I don't even know if I'm pronouncing your, your, your name correctly, but whatever. Twitch name, Circle Bunnies. Um, thank you so much for for your generosity. That, that Volt Absorb Pachirisu came in clutch. It, it basically, well, it didn't save my life or anything, but... 
Having a full team of six is so awesome going into the competition like um, the uh, Pikachu Cup, because I did the Steel Cup uh, thing, the XY Fairy thing, and uh, the Ghost thing, but I was only able to breed three Pokemon for each of those. And that put me at a very, very big disadvantage, because it was super easy for my opponents to just predict my team. Uh, now with uh, six, it's just so crazy. Also, I didn't even breed all of them, like, some people help me, and that is so crazy. Just knowing that I can get help uh, from the Mii family or whatever, that, that is amazing. Also, I went on Wonder Trade and found a member of the Mii family there. That, how crazy is that? A Wonder Trade, such a big thing uh, f for us, our little group of people, about 500 people. Uh, to trade to each other via Wonder Tree. It's just so amazing, and I can't thank you guys enough. Also, thank you guys so much for watching. And again, Shadow, thanks for the amazing battle. Um, go subscribe to him, please. Link uh, in the description below. Uh, go subscribe to him. I, I believe he, he shiny hunts. I believe so. Uh, if not, I'm sorry. I just mistook you for somebody else, but... Um, his vids are really cool, so you should check them out. Hit that like button down below for us if you enjoyed the video and are a proud member of the Mew family. Comment, it's always appreciated. Subscribe to Team X if you haven't already joined the Mew family, it's quite awesome over here. Also, do not forget to subscribe to my opponent, Shadow here. He put up with an it was it was a crazy fight, it was awesome. 30 minutes long. When you have a 30 minute long fight, you know it's good. And it's so enjoyable, I sweat during the, that fight, it was amazing. Those are the kinds of fights um, that I like, and that's the reason why I came back into competitive battling and I didn't want to do so much. And I'm so hyped. I'll see you next time, and as always, Yang! Yeah.